CQCQ VK2 HTV callings. CQ, 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 parks on the air. CQ. Have you thought about making a remote for your Yesu radio? Well, stick around and we'll have a look at making a remote. So I just picked up this Yesu 891 and it's in pretty good condition. Uh, the seller used it for listening to shortwave radio, which uh, was bizarre, but that's true. All the frequencies in there were shortwave frequencies. The problem I have is it didn't come with a microphone. Not a problem. Uh, a lot of people say that the standard uh, HM31, blah, 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 whatever the serial number is, the model number, um, isn't that great a microphone. One of the good things about Yaesus is that it is a dynamic microphone as opposed to an electric, which uh, is what uh, iComs are. I have, I've got predominantly iComs. Uh, now, you can undo this uh, face uh, off the, uh, the radio, and just uh, as a sideline there, you can actually switch between speaker and headphones. I'm on uh, headphones there at the moment. If you didn't know that, there's a little secret switch behind there. And this is where you plug in your microphone. Now you can just use a standard uh, Ethernet cable or a, a patch cable. Uh, the one problem is that it does get crushed uh, once you put it in, so I would like it there without the boot. So that just goes in. So that's the standard wiring of a 568B. And then that just goes in like that. Clip that back on. So from that, uh, you get your microphone and push to talk connections off the Cat5 cable. And you can also remote your radio. Uh, I've put the remote there so I, when I plug it in I can uh, work it out uh, from just uh, from the front. Uh, you can get audio out by using the data port and that'll give you a, a line level output. And the uh, remote has a very interesting function. You can buy the little 10 switch remote, but I wanted something a little bit different. So I ended up making my own, which is a little bit more elaborate than the standard remote. So these are effectively just the five buttons that will trigger the, uh, the voice memories. So you can do that on the radio, but uh, on the front, you only have the three buttons. I'll sh explain that in a minute. And then I've got uh, the push to talk. So that's a little bit different to the remote. Uh, and also an external push to talk, which I made up a, a cable. Very easy to make up a, a push to talk cable. It's literally just a switch, uh, which will um, plug straight in. So I've just got a uh, quarter inch jack that plugs in. And in this case, it actually disables that uh, button there. And I've just made this on a little uh, piece of PVC pipe and literally a, a push to talk button on there. And then for keeping the transmit open, I've just got a switch there. So that keeps the transmit open. No need to keep pushing that. And then that's released. And then that's simply just, just the same as your normal push to talk button there. Now the push to talk button is uh, handy when trying to program the remote and if you just have the remote now I did experiment with making a, uh, a similar sort of remote I made up just this little uh, colorful key keypad type remote buttons one to five uh, starting with uh, this one being one and you just have to get the right value of resistor to trigger each one of those memory remotes uh, and in some cases you have to use two or sometimes up to four uh, resistors. It depends what you've got around. I've, I've had some around, I had to buy some extras, but the values are not standard values. So you do have to uh, play around with getting the right value. So each one of those values just literally just triggers a memory. Um, but when you program your radio, you actually have to do three things. You, you have to hit memory, then the actual uh, number that you want it to go to, and then the push to talk is to start talking. 
literally that is just the standard configuration of an XLR cable and if you uh, know what that is pin 2 is the hot uh, pin 1 and 2 is the shield and return pin 1 and 3 is the shield and return so I've just got a standard microphone which I've just got in my kit this is just a Sennheiser and it just plugs in with a normal audio cable you can either make one of these up yourself or uh, buy one of these just a three pin audio cable and literally that will just plug in and it will come out through the cat5 cable on uh, pins four for the mic ground and five for the mic hot which is the blue and the white blue the white blue being the positive and the blue being the uh, mic negative and then if you're interested in the push to talk the push to talk is simply the ground uh, which is the white brown and the green the solid green on the cat5 uh, cable so literally i've just cut up a uh, in half a a cat5 cable and then expose those wires so that's as simple as it is there are some guides on these buttons and um, just be careful about some of the uh, wiring diagrams online I found some of them the values of the resistors to be wrong uh, there was one that I think uh, got confused with the playback and the down function I actually tried to put a, a playback uh, button in there but I just ran out of room I just had so much uh, going on in this little box uh, so it wasn't an, an issue it just meant that the values were swapped over for the up and down uh, one of the interesting features about the up and down too is that's the frequency up and down uh, when you uh, long press the up or down it actually goes into a scan mode you do actually have to set that in the menu but it, it actually is quite a, a good little feature if you wanted to scan the current band that you're on okay so on the Yaesu FT891 if you want to use the voice or the CW auto record or playback record uh, function you actually have to enable it in the settings so long press your function button and you have to go into settings 511 and enable record settings and then what that does is it allows you to get to the record functions so then it's literally a quick press of the function button till you get to the record settings page now on this record settings page you have the one to five of the preset voice recordings or in the case of CW you can actually pre-record uh, CW but in my case I'm just interested in the voice recordings and then what you have to do is hit mem then you go to the channel hit the channel then you hit the push to talk record your message and then go through and hit the function button again once you've finished recording once you've selected that then to actually play back you actually have to go and hit the PB so that's highlighted and then that will transmit the actual pre-recorded message so the thing you can do then is have one of these shortcut buttons on here as your message but you can you can only have basically up to three whereas you don't access the full five or you've got to go into this um, page and have that as your screen and that way you can't actually see your soir and a few other things you can't see the frequency so it becomes a little bit easier to have the remote either the AC remote or the one that I've got uh, which is the the homemade version so let's have a look at recording a memo with the remote okay let's go through and select my memory button is on the top there the actual selection of the voice recordings one to five one to top and the push to talk button so we go into this menu here we've got our uh, playback turned off and all I can do is push memo one and then push to talk this is a test testing one two this is a test testing one two
And there we go, we've uh, recorded channel one. This is a test, testing one, two. Now to play that back on air, we have to have PB enabled, and then uh, we can then fire off one of these. This is a test, testing one, two. CQC. This is a test, testing one, two. So a complex little box uh, for uh, most people's use, but I like the fact that I can combine a microphone and the remote in the one box, which the Yesu box doesn't have, plus the push to talk. It uh, might not be what you need, but maybe you just need a simple push to talk um, solution, sim similar to this, which is just uh, simply just each button triggers off one of the memories by having the right resistor value and there you go that's just replicated just the voice the five voice uh, uh, presets in the one of the handy things about the up and down is that you can hit the up or down it will increment or you keep your finger on it and it will do a scan hold it again and it will stop if you're in the memory mode it will actually cycle through your memories so that makes it a nice quick way to access your memories. CQ, CQ, VK2, HTV, callings. CQ, 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 parks on the air. CQ.